Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, I'm back. Easing myself back into it. Um, it's been a hell of a weekend. I will tell you that. It definitely has been a hell of a weekend. Not only did I get um, slammed by this virus, I guess, that's been going around that a bunch of people have been getting, um, of which I find is very interesting. And there is a video that I want to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to share it in the community section here on YouTube. And then I'll also post it on my Facebook page for those of you that are connected with me on Facebook. If you're not connected with me on Facebook and you would like to be, go ahead and find me. The link is in the, in the description box below. Um, do, 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 do. But uh, this video by Amanda Ellis, if you guys watch her, I love her. I think she's fantastic. She's a color therapist and she, um, she's also a channel. She's been doing these videos, um, channeling people like um, uh, Princess Diana, George Michael, Freddie Mercury, Michael Jackson, um, and I, I love her. She's fantastic. But she did a video about um, this upgrading from 3D to 5D and immunization, the body going through a sort of immunization process. and. I found that interesting. I saw the headline and I was like, ooh, that sounds really interesting. That's something that I would really want to watch. But I didn't, it wasn't until I actually got really super sick. And I mean, I don't mean like super sick, you know, I'm not trying to be like crazy dramatic, but it was just like, it hit me pretty hard. Um, and I'm still kind of dealing with it. So if I have to blow my nose or if I end up having a coughing fit, I am so sorry. I'm going to try and keep that to a minimum because it's really gross. <laughs> it's really gross. But um, she did a video about this and it wasn't until I got, I was actually, you know, in the throes of it, having to take time away to really heal, um, that spirit really pushed me to watch the video and that was over this weekend. And it's really super interesting. I'm going to share it with you guys because I think you would love, I think you would benefit from it. I think it'd be something that you guys would want to see also. Um, moving forward, just so that you're aware, I am going to be starting on the March readings. Um, I'm going to be do them, doing them differently. I'm just going to record them. Um, I might do them live. I'm not sure. If you guys would like to see them live or not, um, let me know. Actually, I'll, put a, I'll post a poll to see if you guys want to see them live. Um, but I'm going to be starting to do that. Also, I'm going to be going through, I'm going to be adjusting my prices a bit. Um, I'm going to be reducing them because I kind of have a better understanding, a better gauging of how the pricing should work right now. So um, just keep that in mind. So if you would like to get a reading with me, um, just go ahead and email me because of the, up, the prices are going to be updated and it's going to be confusing uh, looking at it in the description box because one video is going to say one thing, another video is going to say another. I wish we could edit the description box of videos in bulk after they've been posted, but I don't think there is a, a way to do that right now. So if you'd like to get a, a reading with me, just go ahead and email me. It'll just be better that way. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, with all of that said and done, let's get to the reading for today. What is today's date? Good Lord. It's the 25th. Okay. Uh, yes. I've been in that much of a cocoon. I've been in that much of a hibernation where I didn't even know what the date was. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of loved it and I don't really want to come out of my cocoon, but I have to. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do it slowly but surely um yeah oh but, oh that's the other thing i wanted to say this last weekend not only did i get sick but um i was hit by the full moon pretty freaking hard um it was in virgo and uh, um my rising sign on western astrology is virgo and my dear dear friend betsy she does like to remind me every once in a while that my virgo rising is showing it man was it showing this weekend um it was a doozy it really threw me back to my childhood um it brought up some childhood trauma um that i actually was not consciously aware of um up until recently not i'm not gonna say up until this weekend but up until recently within like the last year or so but i but again it was one of those things where i became conscious of it like i put two i finally was able to put two and two together and it's made sense um, but then I completely forgot about it. 
completely forgot about it until now where it came back up and I was thrown back into a mindset from my childhood that I I had not been in in a very, very long time. Very long time. Like, long before I even made it to the YouTube market, um, you know, it was a mindset that I just, I had, I thought I had healed from. Um, and it's not even that it's, it, because it's all a cycle, okay? So that's why these things happen this way. Um, you know, you'll get through something and you'll come out of it feeling great, feeling confident, and time will go on and you'll probably even forget about that state of mind until something, the cycle comes back around and something throws you back into it and you're facing it again. But it's not, it doesn't mean you failed, it doesn't mean that you you recessed um, or regressed, I'm sorry, I don't know which word to use there, regressed um, or whatever, you've gone backwards. It's just a matter of it coming back around for you to learn a little something more from it. Okay, so that was part of my weekend too, and it was brutal. <laughs> it was so brutal. But here we are, back in it. Six minutes into the video, let's just start reading cards, Eric. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, February 25th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so just keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, energy is fluid. This doesn't have to be something that you're dealing with now. It could be something that you've dealt with in the past. It could be something that's coming on down the pipeline. It may be something that doesn't even resonate with you at all. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Um, don't force it to fit, but I, would, I wouldn't mind if you like hung out with us. That'd be cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, one more shuffle for today, Monday, February 25th, 2019. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we've got for today. Thank you so much, Spirit. Oh, also, this is a general reading, so it's not sign, career, love, or anything specific. This is just what Spirit wants to discuss with us today at this moment in time. And if you find yourself, oh boy, oh boy, look at that. Okay. And if you find yourself um, finding this video reading much later after it's been posted and it's resonating with you, then it was a message for you at that time. Yeah. Energy is fluid, y'all. But looky what we have here. Moon child. So... Obviously, we are going to be talking about the effects of this last full moon. Um, I can already feel. So this is going to be a post-full moon check-in update is what Spirit's saying. Okay, there we go. Um, the moon child is a unique card in this deck. Um, it talks about the cycles of the moon and what we're learning from the moon and all that stuff and what we're learning from our own cycles. Uh, yeah, we can read a little bit, although I don't think it's necessary, but let's see what else. All right, Spirit, so in terms of this moon child energy, what else do we need to discuss? Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. Okay, here we go. We've got it. Underneath the deck, we have <laughs> the King of Wands. So whatever it is we went through... With this last cycle, um, it was all about greater, wow, four of wands, holy moly. Um, so it was all about finding greater confidence within ourselves and a greater foundation, greater stability, excuse me, within ourselves. Now, yes, the four of wands can talk about a home situation. For some of you, this could have been a situation in which you had some drama at home, Knight of Swords, but the Knight of Swords is in reverse. You had some, you may have had some drama at home um, within your family, maybe with, with, with your partner, maybe with some friends, um, maybe with roommates that either has been squashed or has been dealt with. 
Oh, I don't know if I held this up, but yeah. Underneath the deck is the King of Wands here. I held that up. I thought I did. But if I didn't, now I did. So there you go. <laughs> um, I, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, the, 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 the energy of fighting, the energy of um, arguing, miscommunication, it seems to have been squashed. What this is, I mean, initially this Knight of Swords in reverse to me is saying that any of this aggressive energy has been put to rest. Now it also, I mean, this is a general reading, so picking up another, um, another, scenario here um this could be fighting this could be definite miscommunication um someone shooting off at the mouth someone just saying some things that are really harsh being directed to the point but but um in a malicious way not in a constructive constructive not in a help ha a healthy helpful way not just trying you know cutting straight to the point and getting to it trying to be vindictive trying to be mean, nasty, cutthroat. But it still stands that I feel like this energy here is coming to a close for a lot of people because you have the seven of wands and the four of wands. The seven of wands is talking about greater boundaries here. The four of wands being a victory for yourself in the fact that you are closing yourself off from people, places, things, situations, circumstances that would be harmful to you in this way, Knight of Swords. And a lot of that comes from you closing out these cycles here with the moon child energy, um, closing out the cycles from, these full, from this full moon and being more confident in yourself. Some of you may really have gone through an uprooting, a purge of what really traumatized you as a kid. I know I did. And I know others did too. I did, I did go live yesterday on Instagram and I kind of spoke a little briefly about um, what I had been experiencing and that you know I'm working my way back into, into, uh, into the game here. But um, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out at divine underscore conversations. You can find the link on, in the description box below. Go ahead and check out that video. I mean, it was a quick little thing. I was on my way to brunch with some of my bowling teammates. But in that video, I described that um, I watched a reading from Melanie of Whole Again 1111. Um, and she actually was one of the first people to put me, to help me understand what, <laughs> what I was going through <laughs> during this twin flame craziness in the very beginning, well, in the beginning stages for me, um, back when she started her channel, like back in November of 2017, I think it was. But, um, do 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 what am I saying? What was I saying, Eric? Get back to your train of thought here. Oh, um, she, with this full moon, which was in Virgo, and she has a lot of Virgo in her chart, she was dealing with a lot of the same things I was dealing with, in a lot of the same ways I was dealing with it too. Like, it was crazy. Um, like, I was... I was like the queen or king, if you want to, it doesn't matter or whatever. I was both the king and queen of an Epsom salt bath. You want, you guys want to see, like it got to the point where I went out to the store and I bought these <laughs> massive bags of Epsom salt because I just wanted to like, I, I just wanted to like stay in there for the rest of my life. Um, and I'm actually so glad that I have so much left because then that means that I can still use it moving forward. But yeah, like it was serious, guys. Like it was serious. So um, with this full moon, you probably dealt with a lot of things. If this hit you hard, um, and also it depends specifically on you and your chart, but um, you probably dealt with a lot of trauma, pain from early in life. Um, I know I was constantly replaying a lot of things that happened over the twin flame madness that was going on for me, um, very much in a profession, perfectionistic way. And that's kind of what Virgo does to me. Um, you know, it makes me very hard on myself, especially as a Virgo rising. You know, it makes me very hard on myself. It makes me very critical of myself. Often I can be critical of others, but I tend to be more critical of myself and more understanding of others, which I guess is a little backwards, but anyway, all of that was leading up to, or is leading up to this King of Wands energy. 
confidence, sure of yourself, um, having a better idea of where you might want to be going in your life. Um, I know that is a part of what happened for me. Um, it made things a little clearer. Um, for me, it it's helping me really identify what it is I want to really be doing moving forward. Especially with this energy of us being in between worlds recently, you know, and having to make a decision, knowing that we need to make a decision in a, in a certain direction, but the universe saying to us, hey, chill out. It's not really that time to make that decision right now. Um, the King of Wands energy is very much an energy of uh, knowing when the time to strike. Knowing the time to strike, okay? So biding your time, holding back, keeping an eye on your target the whole while, you know, and knowing what it is you want to go after, but knowing when to strike also. Um, the King of Wands can also talk about the divine masculine energy within all of us that is on the rise, to be quite honest. Um, and I really do feel like it. there was a breaking point for many within the masculine point of view. I'm getting that from this Knight of Swords in reverse here. There was a breaking point in which a lot of the aggressive energy, I feel like just kind of, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like a glass break or some sort of structure break and all of that and whatever, and like all of that energy is just kind of spilling out. And you could, you could say being wasted, but, um, it's not being wasted because it's just something that just needed to be released. It's not something that you really wanted to work with. Even though you could use it in a constructive way, it was just so much of it that it just needed to be released. Just just, just release it all into the ground and, and start over, in a sense. That's for some. I feel like that's really what's happening here. Um, which is all leading to better boundaries and greater stability. Seven of Wands, Four of Wands, okay? It may feel like you were hella defeated right now or over this last, these last few days, maybe this, last, this past weekend, whatever. However, this moon cycle affected you whenever you felt it, however you felt it. You may have felt like it was a big defeat, but it actually wasn't. This Four of Wands and this Seven of Wands combined is saying it's actually... A pretty serious victory you may not recognize it right now because it's foundational in nature and it's going to be something that you know roots are being taken from this foundation you're settling in more you are becoming more grounded and stable and in, in who you are king of wands and it might not be you might be able to understand it and, and recognize it now but it may not be something that you can really see until you start you're, you move forward in life and you start really acting and living from this king of wands state here, okay? This confident, sure of yourself, knowing who you are, knowing what you want. And there's very much an energy of knowing what you want and not really caring what other people have to say about it. The paradigm of our lives is changing. The, what people actually want out of life is changing. What people actually go for, what people strive for now is changing. And it all changes within your greatest good as long as you allow it, okay? So don't let anybody tell you what you need to be doing, who you need to be, where you need to be, how you need to act. No. This is your time to shine, says spirit, okay? King of Wands, woo. Okay. I'm gonna take this card that just fell off out of, I was, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting into the clarification section now. And this card just flew out of the deck. Um, it was on the very bottom of the deck. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna give you the message that comes from it, but then I'm gonna put it back in the deck and I'm gonna shuffle. And we're gonna do some real clear. We're gonna do some further clarification, okay? But what do we have here? The Hierophant, and I'm being called to look at underneath the deck. We have the Queen of Swords. Excuse me, that was really gross. Now, when I'm looking at the Hierophant here, I'm seeing, I'm hearing the status quo and all that stuff, but. What I'm really getting with this is, especially coupled with the Queen of Swords, this is exactly what I was talking about just now, 
Um, the Queen of Swords is talking about the no fucks given attitude. Like, I don't care what you have to say about it. I'm going in this direction because this is what serves me. If you don't like it, you can, you can kick rocks, basically. Um, the Hierophant here is not... I'm hearing indoctrination. Um, but that's what I normally hear when I, when I look at this card. Um, so I guess you can say I'm a little bit conditioned against this card. But what I'm really seeing at this moment is, um, I guess you could call it indoctrination because this is your higher self coming through. And it fell out on the Seven of Wands and the Four of Wands. So you can see this two ways. One, this is your higher self and your higher being fully integrating into your life, into your body, and, and expressing itself while you expressing. Because this is, it is you. So it's higher parts of yourself that are coming into play here, that are becoming grounded and stabilized within your environment. And you're basically going in your own direction, um, dictated, yes, dictated by your own higher self and your own higher essence. You can also see this as going against whatever the status quo really is. Um, you, so either this is you or this is the establishment that you are seven of wands, um, have you have boundaries up against four of wands um you have a really stable stable ground to walk on in the face of this establishment here that's pretty awesome okay i'm gonna put this back <laughs> and now but that was literally what i was just talking about here okay not giving a damn what other people have to say about the direction you want to go in with your life because ultimately it's your life go ahead and sing that bon jovi song <laughs> good lord okay so now we're gonna get some further clarification here okay one more shuffle and i am using the um crystal visions tarot deck today is what it is one of my favorites all right so further clarification here is please spirit because we just did get a little bit with the hierophant and the queen of swords but further clarification for this post full moon in virgo check in or update or whatnot whatever you want to call it a little bit more clarification please spirit in terms the king of swords now look at y'all okay wow Wow, we oh we have the five of cups underneath the deck now. The five of cups is talking about this is the overall energy. This is the theme of the clarification, but not whatever of this full moon cycle. There was a lot of heartbreak, a lot of sorrow, a lot of dealing with the grief, with the mourning, whatever you whatever has happened in the past, whatever you have lost, whatever you have. Um, uh, been hurt by, uh, dealt with, the trauma you experienced, all of that, all the shame, the guilt associated with it, the, the drama, the, the hurt, the heartbreak. Coming out of it though, you have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is right on top of the Knight of Swords in reverse. So like I was saying before, this is leaving all this petty energy behind with the Knight of Swords in reverse and growing up. King of Swords, seeing things clearly, being objectionable, being objectional. Um, yeah, the King of Swords and the King of Wands energy, they go very well together. Um, fire, uh, air feeds fire. So the more, <laughs> so I guess you could say the more logical you are about the situation, the more passionate you can become about the direction your life is going in. Okay, 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 okay. We have judgment with the Ten of Cups here. That's falling on the Seven of Wands. Um, judgment and the Ten of Cups is you actually following the calling of your higher self towards what is ultimately going to make you happy. The Hierophant. That's the indoctrination that I'm getting here. So it's not a bad thing. Indoctrination can, be, can have negative connotations. But that's not what it is for right now. And you, you are being indoctrinated into you, into the realm of your higher self. You are answering that call. And because of that, 
you know, you're dealing with the purging elements with this five of cups here. You're putting up greater boundaries and you're answering the call towards your highest um, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, ten of cups, okay? I, I don't know if guys, I don't know if you can hear it if the mic is picking it up, but the wind is going crazy outside my apartment right now. So if you're hearing that and you're like, what the hell is that sound? It's the wind. <laughs> okay. Um, finally, you have the page of pen This is so perfect, you guys. The page of pentacles is clarifying the four of wands here. The page of pentacles to me very, very often um, represents a level up in the physical sense, okay? And it's, I mean, it can represent many other things. You know, it could be a messenger, blah, blah, blah. Um, whatever but for me especially with the energies that have been going on for a lot of us lately this page of pentacles has been talking about leveling up um starting a new having a new beginning having a new level to achieve from approaching physical corporeal life in a brand new way um seeing things in a new way there is also a um, a reinstate reinstallation of commitment, honesty, integrity, hard working, sh hard work. Um, starting from the ground up, basically, but it's not even that because even with this level up, you're coming at it from everything that you've learned in the past. Moonchild, all of the cycles that you've been through and all that good stuff, okay? So especially, you know, you you definitely, this is a beautiful message here with this Four of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You have a brand new foundation here that you are now building from, slowly but surely. Slowly and steady, slow and steady wins the race. It's not a competition here. And that's what this Knight of Swords in Reverse energy is being released. If that was even a complete sentence, I'm not sure, grammatically correct. But basically, you're leveling up from this Knight of Swords, this competitive energy to this King of Swords of seeing things clearly, knowing exactly what it is you are here to do and how, or, or at least getting there. You don't necessarily have to know exactly what it is right now, but knowing what it is, getting to the point where you know what it is you're here to do, what you're here to accomplish, what you're here to achieve, what you're here to provide as an individual in this time space reality at this current moment in time and doing that going for it okay knowing when the right time time to strike is with the king of wands realizing that this is not a competition we're all in this together we're all doing this together you know we're all team members we're all teammates we're all here for the same goal in essence And approaching it from that point of view. And that is that foundation that I think it was really has been put into place for a lot of us during this full moon cycle. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now for the Oracle Guidance section, we're going to go with the Animal Spirits. And then... I'm going to close the reading with the Lightworker Oracle. All right, so getting to the animal spirits here. Here we go. Best messages, please, in reference to just one. Okay. Crocodile. Look. Y'all, oh my God, this is so perfect. Crocodile is all about laying low, biding your time, taking a break, but not, not, like, not like going to sleep, no. Being very watchful, waiting for your time to strike, waiting for your time to strike. Good Lord. I love it when shit like this happens. Oh, wait, where are you, Crocodile? Of course, now I have that song, Crocodile Tears, in my head. <laughs> if you guys are, um, have been watching Morning Coffee for a while, you'll know that this came out. This was a theme for a while, for about a week or so. <coughs> I'm going to say like a month or so ago. Anyway, yeah, that was gross, but sorry, guys. I'm going to try not to do that again. <laughs> Crocodile, resting, submerging, collecting energy, cooling off. The crocodile reminds us to step back from the external world and turn inward. Now is not the time for decisions, 
action, or discussion. The crocodile's mantra is wait. This doesn't mean lying around hoping life's challenges will disappear. The crocodile is much smarter than that. It means intentionally withdrawing, gathering our awareness, observing, and building energy. Fill up the vital reserves so your next moves come from a place of wisdom and power. When in balance, Crocodile is wise, patient, and a silent powerhouse. When out of balance, Crocodile feels stuck and lashes out. To bring into balance, one must rest or uh, practice the Makarasana pose, which would be the Crocodile pose, I believe. Yeah, rest, guys. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I wish I could hibernate for the rest of the week, but I can't. I got, I've got readings to do for y'all. I've got, uh, you know, I've got readings to do for people that have ordered them. I've got to go to class this week. It's the last week of this third module. Starting next week, I am in the fourth and final module of this course, and I am so freaking excited <laughs> because my schedule will be so much easier to work with once I don't have these classes to do anymore. But I'm grateful for them. I'm just saying. I graduate in July and I'm super excited. <laughs> All right, let's close out this reading with one card from the Lightworker Oracle. Okay, here we go. Best message, please, spirit. Just one card. There it is. And we have, ah, this is beautiful. Ascension, the rainbow bridge. Ooh, ciao. I wish, uh, y'all, I am like, I have like the biggest shit eating grin on my face right now. This is just such a perfect, perfect card. Okay, here we go, ascension. The Rainbow Bridge. Give me that. Give it, give it to me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, you have been growing spiritually and your consciousness is expanding. It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. Look, that's so, oh my God, you guys, that's so perfect because that's literally this energy. Control and conquer, Knight of Swords. This is the in, this is the energy, or this is the individual that goes out into the battlefield and fights for control, fights for power, fights for what is it? Fights to conquer, right? Obviously, they're doing that on behalf of like the king or the queen here. But what the ener This is the energy that we're, we're giving up. Up, we're not giving up. Well, yes, the energy that we're giving up, the energy that we're letting go of, the competitive. Um, um, uh, slice and dice, you know, type energy, right? We're letting that go. And we're growing up. We're seeing things from a much more logical, level-headed point of view here, okay? Or you're in the process of getting to this King of Swords energy, right? As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light that can flow into your aura chakras and physical body as you physically expand you may need more rest healing and meditation than usual to integrate this increasing degree of light and the consciousness it awakens within you let's read a little more the rainbow bridge is a term for the channel of light that moves through your chakra system and along your spine allowing spirit to enter your body and stimulate the development of your soul this bridge comes to life as your consciousness is raised it draws in higher energies that nourish and awaken your body, mind, and soul through your chakra system. As your chakras become stimulated by the increasing influx of spiritual light, a clearing process begins which supports at the consistent, I'm sorry, which supports the consequent expansion of your consciousness. This clearing is like a spiritual detoxification. It clears blocks from your mind, emotional body, and physical body, as well as from your soul, such as unresolved past life issues. As these blocks are broken down and processed, emotional trauma stored in your organs and nervous system can be released, and your energy field becomes more spacious. This creates room for an increased spiritual light. As a result, you feel clearer about who you are and why you are here, and others see more clearly why they are in your field you become more powerful. 
your energy field continues to clear itself, attracting more spiritual light, becoming more visible beyond physical limits. Others can be supported by your light, even if they cannot see your physical body. Interesting. You are growing as a light worker and helping humanity in, cre in increasing ways whilst enjoying your own spiritual growth. Okay. I'm just going to read the rest of this because it's really, it's really important. You are opening to new consciousness now. With this comes new insight, awareness, and an awakening or deepening of your soul talents such as healing, clairvoyance, channeling, or telepathy. Your channels are being cleared and activated. Rest. Open up and allow. Be patient and trust in your process. If emotional content arises and you are concerned you might be falling back into old habits, do not be afraid. Find ways to express what you are feeling through writing, therapy, dance, and art, sound, and conscious movement. Explore your personal expression to allow for spiritual expansion. This oracle brings an additional message from spirit. Hold on. Ascension can be a wild ride. Anything is possible. The past is not an indicator. The future is not set. This is a moment to cultivate your deepest feelings of spiritual love and peace. Simply allow the genius of life to flow through you in whatever way it chooses. During ascension, your life can change dramatically. The rainbow bridge empowers us to rise from one reality into another. Even if your outer world doesn't change radically, internally you will feel as though you are living a different life. Eventually, the physical world changes will follow. Enjoy crossing the rainbow bridge into new consciousness, dear one. You have everything you need. You are ready for this. It is meant to be. That is beautiful. It's so crazy sometimes how all of these messages really just, like they, they're all, they all go together. Like a lot of what both these Oracle cards were saying ended up saying is what I was saying I was picking up on just from the tarot so it's so I love it when things like this happen because it's just extra confirmation you know that we're all we're all on the right path it's all happening all right guys so there it is thank you so much for tuning in I love you all so much thank you for being patient with me um this is a big healing time for a lot of us for all of us damn near damn it um I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys a bit later. I am going to be doing some readings. I am going to start the March readings, um, but I'm not going to be doing them the same way. So I'm going to put up a poll here and see if you guys would rather I do them live or if I just record them. Um, and yeah, have a great day. Happy Monday. Uh, and I look forward to connecting with you guys again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.